guys, time to start with our section number five, which is packbed reactors and isothermal design. And here I love it because we're going to see how to account for the pressure drop, which normal operation of these packbed reactors have. So once again, I bring you the methodology, but this time it's not CSTR batch PFR. I have it for the PBR and semi-continuous. <laughs> First things first, we start with the problem. You go, as usual, with your design equation, chapter one. Then you get your design equ uh, equation here in chapter two, as a function as of conversion. What we're going to see here is that we don't need a design equation on conversion, but we, it, we need it as a flow of A or a concentration of A. So forget that we're going to use flow rates and concentrations. This is still the case, we need to determine the rate law as a function of concentration because this is very common. We will see later how to use the uh, stoichiometry tables here, actually it's here, to take away that concentration and use either FA or, yeah, you can use concentration as well. But the normal thing to use is the flow of A. Once again, no conversion, guys. And probably you remember that I used to take away this part here and I told you that we don't need it. Well, in this case we do need it. Why? Because in the gas phase we will have like obstruction, all these pellets, all these catalyst beds. And gas goes through here and it starts uh, having impact on the friction and many contact in the pack beds. So that makes pressure to drop. <coughs> so. Uh, essentially, you need to follow all this, the mole balance equation, your design equation for that specific uh, rate, your rate law and use of stoichiometric tables, and then also a equation of pressure drop. So these guys here will give you one function, <coughs> and this guy will give you another function. Which function? You don't know it yet. We're going to see it later, but you need another function. And this differs from the other problems because you need to solve these two functions at the same time. Before we only got one master equation, <coughs> now we got two. And this is typically solved by software. I'm going to show you how to do it analytically or with numerical methods, but the most normal thing to do in engineering is to solve it uh, with software. Then you get your data, you analyze it, and you are done. <coughs> If you don't re remember what was the PBR, let's revisit it. It's a typical gas solid phase reaction, so it's not only a gas. <coughs> you have also a catalyst, or a catalyst bed, and it's fixed, it doesn't move. Uh, the pack bed that I'm talking about is actually the catalyst that is fixed in the bed. <coughs> Uh, in the liquid solid interaction there's no or at least not that much pressure drop yes of course there is a little bit but not the one uh, considered in the gas one in gas phase you will have of course a huge pressure drop even 50% of the original ones and so on and I wanted to show you this mm. <clears throat> the higher the velocity the higher the drop in pressure why because you are Super fast, what happens when you get to one pellet? Well, you're going to absorb or to shock, to have a contact with that, and that is when you lose your, let's say, force. And you know force in area, it's pressure. So there's your pressure drop. One other thing I want to show you is that our catalyst or our bed is packed. What does that mean? That it doesn't move, it's, it's fixed. Because then you get the in inflow, there's, this is fluidization. When you start doing this, you get your air or whatever is going here and everything is fluidized. We don't want that. This, guys, is fluidi fluidization. We want fixed bed reactors. And yeah, essentially that was a little bit theory. Now let's go to the mathematical model for the first order uh, PBR reaction.
What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.